Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> so, hello, welcome back. This is vlog number three, and I'm here. I'm here with Miss Martinez. Mm -hmm. She is an ELL um, paraprofessional here mm -hmm. at Queens Intermediate, and um, I have a couple questions for her to ask her what she does like on the daily basis on how she can help the students um, understand instruction. So, what's the first thing that you see with the students and what they're struggling with? Basically with the language, so I have to translate the question so they can understand it and then try to help them and try and explain so they can get the concept. Okay, do you help them out with their writing in any way, like when you're giving them instruction and trying to translate it to them? Yes. How do you do that? So, like this year is different because they get to use the Google Translate. Okay. So last year they didn't have that option because everything was um, on paper. Okay. So this year it's different because they get to use Google Translate. Got you. So they're using Google Translator to get everything mm -hmm. translated. Mm -hmm. How has that impacted you? Because like you said, last year they were able to not use that or mm -hmm. they couldn't use it, but now they do. So you're still there guiding them through the instruction. Um, how does Google Translator make that different? For me, it's easier because it's, I mean, the lesson, it goes faster. They okay. don't have to wait for me so that I can translate and try and explain. This year's going to be, it's faster. For me, it's faster. Oh, awesome. So it's faster. So it's definitely a pro for you. Yes. Awesome. Because um, I know in my class in fifth period, you go in there and you help out, I think it's like five to six kids. Mm -hmm. So having that time and everything like that, it really helps out. Yes. Do you help out in all um, subjects or just one? For seventh grade, I help math and science. And eighth grade, it's math and science as well. Okay, so mm -hmm. math and science are your primary yeah. ones? Okay. So what's the most, I guess, challenging subject for you to translate and to um, get them to understand science or math more? Mm, science. Really? Because math is just numbers. <laughs> <laughs> but see, like in math, some of the kids, they don't know how to multiply, how to divide. Okay. So they're missing that foundation. In science, it's a lot, it's like a longer concepts so I can translate and get so they can understand it. Okay, so there's more in the science because yes. I know talking to Mr. Castro, he said that in um, in the Spanish culture, um, arithmetic is very strongly um, forced, or not forced, focused on. Mm -hmm. And so when you go into science, there's some of that um, math and everything, but it's more procedures and then they have to do um, experiments or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So how are you able to translate or able to get the kids to understand what's happening in the science class? Since I've been working, probably this is my eighth year, so I already know the concept. Oh, okay. So it's easier for me, as long as the teacher is explaining, I'm explaining to the kids. So that way I don't have to wait until the teacher finishes explaining it. By the time uh, she finished, I already explained the kids like simple stuff, simple steps so they can understand it better. Okay, so, so your experience here has really much helped you. Um, so what was it like your first couple of years when you first got into Queens? The first year was hard because I had science, history, eighth grade history, and math. Oh, wow. So the first year was sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Oh, my goodness. And I was the only one, so it was tough. So I had to learn like the eighth grade so it's tough because I, I, mean, I forget a lot of like history mm -hmm. so the first year was really hard for me so what happened with history if i may ask mm, history hmm. because eighth grade it's eighth grade is really tough it's okay. a lot of concept it's a lot of date it's a lot of persons and uh, it was really hard sixth grade history it was it was easy Oh, okay. So, but, but I mean, the toughest it was eighth grade. Okay, the toughest was the eighth grade history yeah. thing. So then it kind of like went down to the wayside, and you're kind of like, let's let's focus on something else. So you chose math and science going <laughs> forward. Well, <laughs> uh, last year, but before no, like three years ago, they ha and because we have so many students, so they had to hire another aide. It was they had to pull like the title one aide. Oh, okay. So they can help me because I had a lot of students, and it was all the subjects just for me. Oh, okay. So I got help. Oh, got you. Okay, so once you got that help, it really helped you out. Yes. And you were able to, like, go into more math and science versus history, history. math, and science. Because mm -hmm. those are three pretty hard subjects, especially it's for ELL students. Subjects. So I'll usually help in the core subjects, not, like, the electives. Okay, so mm -hmm. all core subjects. Yes. Like that. Okay, okay. Um, oh, man, I had a question, and then I just lost it. So... <laughs> um, <laughs> So when they're writing down like instructions or they're writing down um, their answers on paper, 
if they're writing down a sentence, because I know like in math, we ask them to elaborate on their thinking. How do you help them out with, with that? Like what they do, they write it in Spanish and then they translate it. And if they don't get the question, that's when I help them, like to make corrections. Okay. Because sometimes they don't know how to spell it, but this year, like I'm telling you with the Google Translate, right? it's easier. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they get, they don't get the right sentence, complete sentence, because they don't know how to spell it in Spanish. Oh. So that's, this year has been an issue with spelling, even in Spanish. Okay. So, so you, you didn't type it in Spanish correctly, the Google Translate doesn't translate oh, it correctly. Wow. So even when they're having trouble with the um, writing part of Spanish, Google can, Translator can't pick that up. Mm -mm. Interesting. Okay. Um, because I know I use Google Translator once in a while to help give my basic instructions to them, mm -hmm. but it takes some time for me to like type it into Google Translator, translate from English to Spanish, and then send it to them. But what I saw is when they get to understand the core of it, or when you explain to them the core of it, they're able to get down the main... Um, the main thing that we're teaching. So if we're learning Pythagorean theorem, we're trying to tell them a squared plus b squared is c squared. That word squared, I know a lot of them kind of, they don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so what makes it easier, like like math, like math vocabulary? How were you able to explain that to some of the students? Some of the vocabulary, math vocabulary is the same as Spanish. Some really? words, is, is the, they're basically the same. So they get the concept because it's almost the same. And in science too. Oh, in science too. Mm -hmm. So like vocabulary, it's, it's gonna be this almost the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything else you'd like to talk about about the ELL students and being able to make it easier for them to translate both their writings or their um, language into what they're trying to say that I'm not getting? <laughs> No, I think we covered everything. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, Ms. Martinez. <laughs> you, um, this is early morning, so I know we just surprised her and woke her up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but thank y'all for tuning in. If uh, y'all have any questions or anything, please leave them down below. Thank you again.